right after what feels like days of packing the van which seems ridiculous considering how small it is we are finally headed out we're leaving florida long-term plan is to make it to wyoming for the airstream international rally but right now in this video our goal is to get from florida to nashville and we have hmm, like 18 hours to do it it's a 10 hour trip so this is gonna be fun so what's your role in this trip d my role is to get this van to nashville tennessee lauren's role is to get baby dash and some of our camping supplies that we'll be using for the airstream classic up to Nashville. Which means I'm responsible not only for the most precious cargo, but for driving the truck, which we're selling, which sounds very confusing considering Daniel just said we are keeping the Airstream, but we'll keep you on your toes. And to do that, we're gonna sell her in Nashville because that's where we have, we have her registered. So BTW, if anybody would like a Ford F-250, we have a really beautiful blue one for sale. All right, feeling good about driving this baby for the uh, next little bit? Yeah, I'm feeling great about it. Probably um, not in that seat though. Not in this seat, there's no steering wheel. So <coughs> off the chain seats here. And first stop, gas. <coughs> okay, Dash, what do you think about this road trip? It's been a while since you've been on a road trip. You've been doing a whole lot of like airplane trips. You feeling good about this? I think that's a yes, folks. Look at our big, beautiful truck. Oh, we do love her. But does it make sense in our next phase of life? Woo! We gotta get some air conditioning up in this you know what, because it is hot as all get out here in Florida. We are not disappointed about leaving this weather. Apparently next week, it's supposed to be in the 90s. <sighs> you ready for the ride, Dash? Yeah! Well, it's no longer a shiny hiney, but it is a cute hiney. True story. So we're filling up. Diesel is 389 and 9 tenths uh, here in Tampa, Florida today. So it's not as bad as it was before we left for Spain. But considering we're driving two big honking vehicles, this trip is not going to be cheap. Yay, gas! All right, have you filled up the van yet or is this the first time? Very first time, which is why I didn't know how far to pull forward because I had just assumed the tank's uh, was in the front access, so. You assumed it was on well, the back. I thought I assumed it was in the back, so I kind of like left some room in the back, when in reality, right by the driver's door. So do you know how big the tank is? Nope. But considering it only had a uh, less than a quarter tank, uh, we're about to find out. Okay, so this one's probably like 20 to 25 gallons, maybe? Yeah, it's from around there. On the other end, apparently the truck has a bigger gas tank. All right, there we go. Or I just ran the truck down a lot lower than Daniel was willing to run the van. Refreshment secured. We're hitting the road. Nashville, here we go. Um, the goal is that we 
are going to Nashville because I was supposed to have the day off tomorrow, but um, I had some really exciting meetings that I didn't want to miss. So we're trying to get to Nashville before noon so I can take said meetings. So hence why we're doing this last minute trip. Or not really last minute, but I'm trying to do this kind of fast. So I uh, got... So I opened the doors, the back doors, to fix the camera. The backup camera was a little bit crooked. Um, mm -hmm. Easy fix, but I forgot to close the doors all the way. So, yeah, there's that. And now I have to pull off the next exit so I can close them properly. Okay. Oopsies. Yeah. Oopsies. Okie dokie. Well, I'll follow you. Okay. Okay. Bye. I don't think we're going to make it in time. Especially not if we keep doing stuff like this. Definitely could have done that with the trailer. Welcome, Shane. All right, so what prompted this originally, like I was trying to say on the phone, but I was a little distracted, is that the, the camera that's in your rear view mirror got a little bit wonky. Next thing you know, the horizon was like this. And that's not very functional, so I figured, let me just hop up there and straighten out that little thingamadoogie up there. And I did, just didn't close the door all the way. <sighs> Luckily, nothing popped out in the road, because that would be bad. That would be bad. None of that happened, so we got lucky today. He's a mess, y'all. Baby Dash, are you awake, buddy? It's a little late and the sign's not lit, but we just made it to the Cracker Barrel. closing this in for the night. Now it's time to figure out how to make the bed. We've got some blinds here from Airstream that are gonna cover the front windshield. Uh, I've got the front cabin AC cranking, but I'll kick on the AC overhead in just a second. Wanted to talk to you before we kick that on because it gets pretty loud in here with that turned on. Uh, it's not the quietest AC, but man, is this thing crank out some ice cold air and quickly too, so. Really cool when you're running a battery pack because you don't have to run it that long to get ice cold in here. Um, so we're gonna get that going. We're gonna get this bed converted, just like YouTube magic. Dash, are you so excited to not be in the car anymore? I mean, technically, I guess you are still in the car, but you're not in the car seat. That's a win. <laughs> oh. All right, so here are the blinds. This, let's see which blinds these are. These are, these are the side windows. Apparently, are they magnetic? They are magnetic, so they should just like pop on there. Let's see how easy this is. This looks like it's for this window. Hold on. Oh, we'll see how well these work. Uh, oh. Well, that. First time doing it, so. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Just have to put it on the metal part of the door. That's the magnets. Okay, so a little <laughs> higher here. There we go. Okay, that's decent. It's functional? It's functional. I'm sure there's a better way to put it on. We'll figure that out next time. Let's, I think I probably have these on backwards. Yes, I definitely think I have these on backwards. Okay. Okay, that probably goes over there. I think the reflective part is for the outside. Oh yeah, that goes on a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I say that and then like here I am trying to put this thing on. Okay. 
Oh, come on. It looks so easy when you're watching them do it on video. Okay. Okay. I think that's good. Or as I like to call it, GE is good enough. Gosh, you helping out, buddy? Okay. You helping out? Yeah? I heard that. Yeah, that was a yes. Okay. Big windshield. This Big. one's falling out. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take some practice. Okay, this looks like it goes obviously around the window. What am I doing here? Okay, there we go. That goes like that. I'm doing something. Van life skills. They're strong, y'all. All right, wife skills to the rescue. What are we doing wrong? I know, sometimes it's a simple solution. There's no magnets needed for this because you just use these and then bam, it's set up So like that. What about our sad ones? I don't have an answer for that. Um, Dash, what do you think of all of this silliness? There we go. Yeah, say, I love the driver's seat. Yeah, it's your favorite. First night of van life! Yay! <laughs> now for figuring out the bed. Alright, the bed is down, so now I'm just gonna see if like sheets actually fit on it. Okay, so not the prettiest bed I've ever made, but totally functional. Dash, what do you think, dude? How do you think? Did mommy do okay? See, I just want to pull all of the handles. This is so fun. Dash, you wanna see something cool? You wanna see something cool? Check this out, Dash, look. Whoa! Look at the toys. Look at Dash's toys. Dash has his own drawer. <laughs> oh yeah. Score. <laughs> okay, D. Initial fault thoughts. First night in the van. Um, the mattress is firm, which I actually prefer. I don't like those big, like squishy, like your whole body falls into it kind of mattresses so this is better from back a plus there um i feel like we're still like it's still so new um we're still trying to figure out everything so i feel like after maybe a couple of weeks we will like we'll be gelling like magellan and we'll have the setup and breakdown so easy but right now uh i mean we don't even know what all the buttons do <laughs> dash is like i like the buns so, D, you remember the very first night in the Airstream trailer when we ate frozen mac and cheese and you didn't actually pack it up? Yeah. This you just pulled through. I know. We've come a long way. I mean, here we are parking in a Cracker Barrel parking lot, rocking some jorts. I mean, a lot's changed. A lot's changed in the last couple years. The jorts, sadly, have not changed. <laughs> But this little guy is just as cute, if not cuter, than Mickey Mouse. Oh, here's an interesting stat. I've got an Let's hear it. Yeah. Interesting stat. So I was wondering what the mileage would be like now that we have this thing pretty much fully loaded. Um, and over the last 200 miles or so, we're averaging about 13.8 miles per gallon. So in case you're wondering, highway yeah. miles at least. 13.8 miles per gallon on this trip so far. Dash, you were wondering, weren't you, buddy? <gasps> Is that the AC? Ooh. Fancy. Well, in true Lauren and Daniel fashion, AKA Wonder Local fashion, we didn't do what we always say to do and learn to rig before you go on a long trip. So we're gonna go figure out how to brush our teeth and you know, just mm, how to function in the van. Easy. It's gonna be 
gonna be great. We've been camping for years. It's fine. Fine. <laughs> okay, but we're signing off because we need to get up early tomorrow morning. We have back on the road and try to make it to Nashville tomorrow. I think we've already rolled out that we're not making it on time. But if you haven't already today, make sure you wander local. Because as you know, good for the soul. You know what else would be good for the soul? If babies didn't love remote so much. He is like a bug to a light. Wherever there's a remote, he will find it and he will push all the buttons. Oh, dad buttons. <laughs> Okay, Dash, you want to tell everybody bye? Dash, you want to wave bye-bye? Buttons. Say bye-bye, Dash. Oh, oh, he figured it out. Wish us luck, y'all.